Hi, my name is Bimbaya Garu. I'm Head of Psychological Therapy Services uh, for Bromley Working for Wellbeing, Working for Bromley Healthcare. Today I want to talk to you about anxiety. Now, anxiety is something that we all experience. It's normal. Um, and it actually can be quite a good thing to experience because anxiety in itself spurs us on to act. Um, if you can think about um, Prehistorically, it's been found that our ancestors in the Stone Age um, needed to survive, um, you know, in the wild, and um, in so doing, they needed some mechanisms to survive. So um, they had, and I don't know if you've heard of the fight or flight response, and they experienced they needed to have the fight or flight response in order to survive. So um, if there was a wild animal coming, they needed to be able to either run. To survive or they needed to be able to fight it but they needed that energy and the adrenaline coursing through their system to be able to cope with that so the fight or flight response in itself is fantastic it helps us to survive and it helps us to cope however it becomes a problem when it stops you from functioning so anxiety in itself isn't the problem but how we cope with it and how we live with anxiety now anxiety you may experience symptoms of anxiety when you feel really worried all the time and you just have this sense of unease all the time and and um, it's also characterized by um, by fear um, and ex because anxiety is such a, a, a huge topic it's it's quite difficult to to specifically talk about all the different areas of anxiety um, so I, I will generalize and just talk about some of the symptoms that people experience when they're anxious. The physical ex symptoms that you may experience in anxiety is that you may have a rapid heartbeat, sweating, butterflies in your stomach, just feeling really, um, you know, um, on edge and unable to, to, um, to spur yourself on to do things because of the fear that comes with that. Psychologically, you um, have a sense of unease, you're worrying excessively about the future, and you're frightened of what may happen um, in the future. Um, and some of the things that would happen, um, so experiencing those symptoms in themselves isn't the issue. The issue is then what happens after you've experienced the symptoms and your uh, interpretation of those symptoms. If you had a thought, so for example, if you were going to, for an interview, it would be normal to have butterflies in your stomach and feel a little bit anxious. And in fact, that perhaps in itself, the anxiety you experience from that is what will spur you on to, to practice or to um, you know, work that much harder so that you're successful in your interview. And that's good anxiety. Bad anxiety, if I can call it that, is when you experience those symptoms and it fills you with so much fear that you, it actually stops you from going to the interview. You get into the interview, you're stuttering, you completely cannot cope with the environment because anxiety has completely overwhelmed you. Now, the, the problem also comes when uh, anxiety then turns into panic whereby you experience those physical symptoms of anxiety but you misinterpret them as meaning something catastrophic. Then you have what we call panic attacks. So you may have rapid heart rate, you may um, be sweating excessively, you, you know, your head is spinning and you feel that you're going to faint and some, or something terrible is going to happen and then you can't cope with that. Um, and that's when you have a, a panic attack. Um, other symptoms of anxiety also include phobias where you're frightened of leaving your house, for example, um, because you're frightened that something terrible will happen to you if you leave your house. Um, there's social phobia where you have a fear of being around lots of people because you fear they will um, see you in a negative way and you can't cope or tolerate, um, tolerate that. I think the basic thing with anxiety is that it is um, a response to a feared situation. Um, and the, the treatment that you can get for that, you can't get treatment for anxiety per se on, in its, on its own because anxiety is a good thing. The only treatment you can get treatments for um, anxiety when, it gets, when it's excessive and you are unable to cope with day-to-day -day life. Uh, and the treatments that are available mostly is talking therapies, but also an encouragement to go and do the thing that you fear the most and recognize that nothing terrible will happen. That in itself is going to increase your level of confidence um, to go and keep trying out those things. But when anxiety becomes excessive, then you may need to see your GP who will then um, direct you in the, 
um, get you some counselling or some talking therapies to help you um, with the symptoms of anxiety.